Okay, so thanks for the questions. Uh, let's see, I have here another one, uh, which is, can you explain Flex? So yeah, let's go and uh, let me show you Flex. Flex is one of my best plugins. Um, one of the plugins that I like the most, not my best plugin because it was not made by, for, by me, but uh, is one of my favorite plugins. And just a, a, a side note, you can change the layout of Flex by double clicking here on the name. So if I double click, you see that now we have yellow knobs or white knobs. If I double click again, we have a kind of brown layout. If I double click again, we, ha we have the brown layout with the white knobs. So it's really nice. You can go through a couple of uh, presets here or a couple of layouts. If you like the, I actually like this brown, uh, brownish color. So yeah, that's just, um, um, how can I say, just a, a quick, a, a, a nice tip to give about Flex. So what is Flex? Flex is a sample based uh, synth and uh, it has, I think it's a synth also. There are some synth functionalities on the back, uh, but uh, it's a sample based plugin mostly. And uh, as you can see, there's a, there are a bunch of uh, free packs that come with pack, the, with Flex that I really enjoy. And um, <laughs> uh, Mike is saying Flex. Yes, I'm flexing Flex. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, you can see that our uh, the store has a couple of uh, uh, presets that or a couple of sound banks that you can buy. I have a couple that I bought. I cannot tell them which one are, but uh, I, I I really like them. And uh, you you have a bunch of them. One one other thing that I like to do is I go to here all, and then you go to tags, and then you can start typing some of it. Um, I can, you can type some of types, for instance, uh, let's say that I just want bells and I want a dark bell, so. This one sounds nice, but you can see, you can really uh, fine tune your search or your presets to just get some of the things that you are looking for. Let's say you need some dark brass. This is more, I can see this for more um, type of, uh, what's the word that I'm looking for? Those styles that are very dubstep and stuff like that that has this bass crazy bass stuff but as you can see there are a bunch of presets here that we can take advantage of and this is one of the things that i really like to do i go to all and then tags and start adding some some tags that i want let's say that i want some keys or let's go to piano and let's do uh, a hard piano <laughs> I like this hard one. Let's bring the volume a little bit down. Okay, so that I don't blast your ears and mine. <laughs> uh, but th as you can see, okay, some really cool patterns. Then we have here some analysis. So if I click on the notes, we can see that we have a uh, oscilloscope. We can have a spectrum analyzer also. And uh, what is this one? This one is a visual a vector, vector scope. And then we have a spectrogram, which is pretty much the same that we can have here. We can also have a spectrogram there uh, to, to have um, in, in uh, here. And then we have the macros, and this is really cool because these macros, you cannot control what these macros do, but you can control the macros it, themselves. So let's say that I want to add some chorus. I can just go here and add some chorus. If I want to add some tremolo, or I have to also add the tremolo rate. I can also add some vibrato. No, I prefer tremolo. So as you can see, this is uh, the macros basically control some of the parameters of the of the sounds here in the flex and or the presets. 
and then we have some pitch here that we can go up 12 two octaves and down two octaves which is really cool okay then we have the filter uh, section here and one thing that i really like about flex is that if you lock one of these presets and let's lock these two uh, if i change let's say that i put this in a higher octave uh, let's put uh, a full octave and I lock this here. If I change the preset, you see that these parameters are locked the same. And I really like that. So let's say that you have some configurations for the filter that you like, like a cutoff and stuff like that. You can just select or, or lock the parameters and the envelopes and you will have that for every single preset that you select. So if I go back to piano, I still have the same the same uh, parameters that I set here, which is really, really cool. I think it's uh, one of the coolest features that I've seen because sometimes I have a preset that I like or some effect that I like, and I would like to keep that effect, but browse through the presets that I have. And that's not possible. But here with Flex, you can just lock stuff and then uh, go through the presets and have the same effect that you just added. So let's say that you want to have, you, you, you like reverb, a lot of reverb. You can lock this and then go through the, the presets and have a lot of reverb in all your presets. And that's, I think that's something really, really cool. Uh, then we have here envelope. So we have attack, hold, decay, sustain and release for the filter. And then we also have that for the volume envelope. So this will control the output volume and this will control the filter response. Then we have here a master filter that we can apply a bunch of uh, filters here. And maybe basically this adds some kind of some kind of cutoff here. And this is a low pass filter. Then we have delay, reverb and a limiter so that we can uh, limit the um, the or we can add distortion and uh, so on so this limiter section i would assume is more like a compression slash limiter and we can have some some different uh, uh, presets here or different uh, vibes for the or different types today my english is really really bad sorry but uh, but yeah we can have different types of uh, compression or limiter uh, to get a, a, a different effect and uh, yeah, I think that's it. Of course, there's a bunch more to, to this, but uh, you would have to go into more detail. And this is just a high, uh, a high overview level of Flex, but it's one of the plugins that I like the most. And FL Studio just released uh, Essential uh, Base. Let me take all the uh, tags. Uh, just Essential Base Guitars and Essential Guitars. And these are free packs that you can... Uh, you have with uh, with your FL Studio version, and this is really really cool. And uh, those those these packs here sound really really nice, as you can see. And the guitars also sound really cool. Let's unlock the reverb. Even electric uh, metal chords and stuff like these power chords, they sound really really cool. As you can see, this can give a, a more um, uh, human vibe to, to your guitars. And this was hard in FL Studio. In FL Studio, you, we used to have, uh, if we wanted to use guitars, we used to have the guitar plugin. Let me see if I can find it. I don't know the name. Uh, uh, hmm. F Fruity. Uh, I don't know if they still have it in the, in the selection. Uh, let's see. I don't know the name. Do you guys remember the name of the, the guitar plugin that we had in FL Studio? I don't remember. But we used to have a plugin that was um, an emulation of a guitar. And I think they removed it. Uh, Slayer. FL Slayer. Here it is. So this is what we had for guitars. Or electric guitars. As you can see, not that... Not that, uh, not bad, but still not, not the best guitar plugin ever. 
and now with these um, uh, essential guitars we have way more um, uh, and way better and way more natural guitars than this uh, Slayer and I don't think you can even find uh, here in the in the section the Fruity Slayer anymore so I think they they kind of put that in the back burner and uh, maybe in the future will be discontinued like uh, Fruity Slicer I hope one day <laughs> just kidding uh, kidding but not kidding 